there are a lot of coaches that have their own thoughts of the NIL deal. I mean, one of them is from Clemson. The other one's from Bama. Uh, Old there Miss. Are, <laughs> yeah, Old Miss. I mean, they don't like the NIL deals because they don't like players making money close to them. Or And, and I look at college coaches right now, the amount of money these guys are making, some of them are making more money than NFL coaches. Do you like – what the NCAA has turned into when it comes to college coaches, do you think college coaches ha- should have a cap just like some of these players do in, in professional sports? I don't know if we should have a, a cap on it, but, I mean, it's it's just gotten so crazy with all the TV money and and then the, the donor money, and, and there's, there's, like, nowhere to, to put the money because you don't have to play the – pay the players you're building these ridiculous facilities that clemson's got like a lazy river and a mini golf course and a nap <laughs> room and and like they just keep building all this crazy stuff in the facilities because they're so you know the athletic departments are non so to speak they got to spend the money every year that they make and they don't don't have to play the, pay the players so the coaching salaries keep going higher and higher and higher and then the facilities keep getting more and more ridiculous uh, so I think at some point something's going to give, I think eventually the players are going to get some kind of revenue sharing type of deal. And then you'll see the coaching salaries maybe come down a little bit and in terms of the TV money. I don't, you know, it keeps going up and up and up. I think at some point it's going to, it's going to stop. I don't think it's going to keep going up. So, so what you're saying is we should all want to be a college coach. Is that what you're trying to say? If you want to, if you want to make money, Go become a college football coach. That's what you should do. Because yeah, if, if, if you're willing to grind, if you're willing <laughs> to grind, do it. Uh, but it's crazy though. I mean, so, some of the guy, are, the money gets ridiculous for some of the guys. But some of the other guys, I'm like, man, they deserve it because the, the hours that they work. Mm-hmm. I mean, I heard Saban one day talking about last year, and this is Alabama, so I don't know if everybody does does this, but last year, out of the 52 weeks in the year, they worked a seven day week. 44 weeks wow <laughs> they're i mean they're working every day and um and i think the reason why they they complain about nil and the transfer portal so much is it just adds more work onto onto the work they've already got and mm. um the schedules are insane for the coaches i mean some of them are sleeping in their offices i remember when i was in knoxville butch jones was the head coach at tennessee and he he would say uh you know, he'd go to bed at 1 a.m. and then his alarm would go off at 5. And, it, and his wife would say, what are you doing? And he would say, I'm building a football program. <laughs> and so, he, you know, he would get his four hours of sleep at night and right back in the office. So, uh, yeah, I think some of those guys deserve it, the, the way that they grind. That's Errol Sleep Satchel, so maybe he'll be doing good as I a don't, Division One coach. Let me tell you something, <laughs> Pat. I, I do not sleep. I have sleep apnea. I, my brain just keeps moving. And then I'll wake up at 3, 3.30 in the morning. I wake up. I go to the bathroom, wash my face. And then you know what? I go in, I go and I, I pop on the TV, and I'm trying to find something to watch. And during the college football season, hey, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, on ESPN, they're replaying these games. So I'm yeah. sitting there watching. I'm screaming. And if my girl's here, she's, she's, she's in the other room. She's like, what the hell is he doing over there? And she looks all around the corner, and I'm watching a college football game. So, hey, you know what? I probably could be a college coach because I don't sleep. So there you go. For all the college fans out there, if you're looking for a coach that you've never heard of and a guy that's probably crazy enough to take over a job that he probably – uh, you know, setting and trying to pick his coaching staff. I probably picked the wrong guys. Hire me. I'm the guy. So I want to go to the story that came out today about the college football playoff expansion. It might be potentially being either changed or delayed because of everything that's gone on with the realignment. The Pac-12 might only have four teams left in it. So is there still a, a chance for the 12 team next year? And, or what do you think is a more likely proposal if that's not the case? I think we're still going to have the 12 team. I think what may change is how they uh, give out the, the, the slots. So right now they've got it as, you know, the, the top six ranked conference champions are getting in, and then you have six at-large teams. I think they're looking to take away one of those conference champions since the, since the Pac-12 probably won't exist. They might want to knock that down to five and, and get some more at-large teams in there. I think that's what they're looking to do, but they're they're waiting to see what's going to happen here with, uh, you know, who, what's going to happen with the Pac-12. Is it going to completely go away or where are Stanford and Cal going to go or, or what's going to happen? And then they can make their decision from there. 